I went to a very fancy Catholic school in Queens, New York. Um, I did start out at a university, but because I could not pay um, and could not receive a lot of government um, funding or financial aid, I transferred. I did one semester at the community college across the street, and I only knew that was an option because I had a favorite professor who taught at both. And I realized I was playing for the same professor, uh, you know, like different, different amounts. He 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 was worth differently in those universities. He was teaching the same subject at the community college for a fraction of what um, students were paying at the university. Uh, and I started to owe money, um, and I transferred to CUNY, City University at Hunter College, which was a much better experience than Hofstra University. Um, and that was because at the time that I started college, I was not yet an American citizen. I was not naturalized. Um, so in that sense, I realized that it affected my college career. Uh, and I wanted to write a character that reflected that sort of college career where she was smart, but she did not have the money. And she maybe she wasn't uh, uh, a citizen as well. You could ignore it. <laughs> oh, no, no, not at all. <laughs> Thank you for that. But yes, yeah, Chantal reflected me, whereas I, where I did really well in high school because I did not have the right guidance. Um, there was no one, no one told me that I could have applied for an Ivy League school. Um, and this is basically there, and my characters go to a Catholic school in Detroit. Um, if there are any Haitians here, you know how Haitians love their Catholic schools, um, or Caribbeans love their Catholic, they will, work themselves to the bone to say, to send their children to a Catholic school, you know? Um, so in that sense, um, but then that's it. You know, once you graduate from that Catholic school, my parents did not have the wherewithal to figure out how to navigate college. And because I went to a Catholic school and it was not very diverse in my graduating class of 700, there were 20 black kids. Um, it's more diverse now. I went to school with, and if everybody remember the mobsters, the gaudies, um, <laughs> the gaudy kids were some of my classmates. Um, so in that sense, a lot of the minority students did not get the attention that they needed or deserve, and we didn't know how to ask questions. The assumption was that, well, we could pay for, you know, we, we would, the assumption was that we were coming from, all, we were all coming from middle class families and we had the resources, when that's simply not true. I did not come, I came from a working class family that sacrificed a lot to put me in that school and therefore I fell through the cracks and was invisible. So in that sense, Chantal was invisible, even with a scholarship that is a reality, that you could become invisible after a while and there's no one guiding you through the process of college applications and applying for financial aid, or even if you do get into a college, the process of staying there and gaining those soft skills to get what it is that you need in a college environment.